guys like i don't know what it is with my network but um let's trust that we'll be fine sorry about that i see james is in the house let's do this guys let's do this james bro, my brother oh, i'm right bro how's it i'm very 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 well Bro, sorry about the network glitch that we had earlier on. Um, I don't know what the problem was, but um, I'm hoping that we've got a slightly more stable connection right now. Are you up? Yeah, I'm good, bro. That's all good with me. Don't worry. It's totally fine. Totally, totally fine. S sending love from South Africa, bro. Shout out you to too. Work, man. You too. Yeah, I've, I've actually got quite a lot of um, followers from South Africa. In, in the community as well, I've got quite a lot of... Um, South Africans, I've done a lot of one-to-one -one with South Africans. Um, yeah. You guys are on the trading, man. <laughs> yeah. yeah, well, this is, this is a, a fairly growing, um, you know, career in SA, uh, you know, which is something that we're really going to get into later. But, uh, you know, man, it's, it's growing. We're, we're becoming, you know, bigger and bigger, getting better and better. You know what I'm saying? 100% and that's like you you're you're doing great in the industry because there's 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 a lot of uh there's a lot of rubbish in the industry um yeah everywhere now but listen I'm not here to put anyone down I never ever ever put anyone down you know it's too hard to tell yeah right? it's, it's really too hard to tell um who is actually legit and who's not so I just keep myself to myself yeah. and I rarely follow any traders, but I've followed you for a few years, to be honest with you, a few years. We're very similar in trading. The style we trade, yeah. very, very similar. Um, but yeah, like this week's been really quiet for me in, in terms of trading. It's only now the dollar's looking to take a U-turn that we yeah. could now start to get some potential great trades in for the rest of the week. Yeah, man. Um, I, I truly appreciate you, man. Like, as you, as you know, like I always say this to you on the side as well. Um, you're just one of the global traders who are like really legit and are like really keeping it real. So it's very rare to find guys like yourself in the markets who are really, you know, pushing that authenticity, you know, because we've got like a bunch of fake people, as, you, as you're saying now. So I'm really like very honored to be on this live with you right now. Listen, you, yeah. uh, you, in, you, you invited me. And I accepted straight away, you know, like and I'm more than happy. The, the yeah. thing I do, right, is I'm so I, I never see myself. I appreciate everyone's kind words and I'm reading the comments right now and they mean so much to me. But the one yeah. thing is I never think I'm better than anybody else. The reason yeah. being is because I was once that person that started with zero knowledge. I never yeah. forget that, yeah. you know, and a lot of people these days, a lot of traders these days, they forget that they were once these people too. They forget True. that they were once True. these people that were following, like I was once following other people, like in the same yeah. aspect. Yeah. And it's, Man, that, that's why I really respect, that. you know, I never feel yeah. that I'm better than anybody, even in my community, like, it's, it's, that's the way that it should be. Yeah, because I mean, we're all on a quest of growth, um, even even when we're at the forefront, but we're basically understanding that, you know, we're all just trying to grow as traders and, you know, we learn every single day. So, I mean, if you get to that point where you think you're better than the next person, then obviously that really crumbles your, um, your appetite to really grow as a trader, if you know what I'm saying. Of course. And, 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 yeah. and let me tell you something, right? The best yeah. traders in the world, they're not on Instagram. Yeah, like, that's that's very true, bro. They're not on Instagram. Yeah. So it's like how there there is no they like I'm not putting anyone down again. And guys, never take that I put anyone down. The number one trading company is probably not on Instagram. The people that teach yeah. like the best the, the best traders in the world's not on Instagram. You know, I'm here doing yeah. my part in the industry. Just like there is like, obviously you've got Nike and Adidas at the top and then you've got obviously Puma and then you come down to K-Swiss and then you, you go down the levels like that, you know, that's just the way that it is. And that's the true reality yeah. and the way that I see things. I would never think that I was ever at the pinnacle, never at the pinnacle. Yeah. I, even myself now, right? Like yeah. I even make mistakes in my trading. Yeah. Everyone does. Yeah, everyone does, bro. 
everyone makes mistakes at times. The biggest yeah, businesses very, in the world make mistakes. Yeah. That that's very true, bro. You've just got to, you just got to like review it, react and adapt. Yeah. 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 Man, James, I truly appreciate it. Um, you know, as I, I really know that we caught the, uh, the followers by surprise because we've really spoken about this on the side and we just announced it today. And, you know, I really appreciate the time uh, to just maybe brief every single one who's on this live. Um, James is on technical effects and obviously technical effects is one of the biggest trading institutions in the world in my perspective. And you know, I really feel, <laughs> you know, I really feel honored to be on this live with you, and obviously having this conversation we're about to have. So, just maybe give you like a little bit of a break, a background of what I've been trying to do, like an essay. So, I've been I've been in the game for a while now, and I basically, uh, you know, kind of deassociated myself from what's happening um, specifically in South Africa. That we've got like a lot of traders who go into the markets with a perspective and a mindset of actually, uh, you know, making quick cash and big money like uh, sooner, you know. I mean, in trading, you are able to make big amounts and big numbers, but that really comes with the time. And when the skill also even grows and, you know, even advances, that's when you start seeing big numbers. So I wanted us to come on this live and basically like, uh, you know, uh, put put some pressure on this topic of actually uh, having the great traders mindset for you to actually get to that specific level where you're now making uh, six, seven figures per day or even per week or even per month. And this is what I want us to basically give up, give back to the community to say uh, it is possible to get to that level, but you've got to have a certain level of mindset. So I want us to tackle the trader's mindset and basically see how we can basically help, you know, the other trader out there who's actually sitting at home and watching us right now and thinking to themselves that, damn, I've been doing this for long enough and I haven't been seeing like sustainable growth. I haven't been seeing the big numbers. And what can we really say to that person in attempts to basically sharpen their trading psychology as well? Sure. Now, it, it goes back to how I started this live. Okay? Yeah. It goes back to the fact yeah. that everybody starts from zero and you just need to understand that everyone, um, you, 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 everyone has somebody to look up to. Okay. Everyone's yeah. got somebody to look up to and it's natural human. Okay. It's natural human to want to have it now. That's natural. Yeah. So nobody should ever put themselves down for wanting to have it now, but you need to accept yeah. that you can't have it now. Mm. What you what you probably don't see in many of the, the good traders these days is what it took them to get there. Yeah. That's what you yeah. didn't see. Now, I've actually been on Instagram for nearly six or seven years, six or seven years, yeah. and that's why I've done like two and a half, maybe even more now. I don't even know how many posts I've done. Um, yeah. But I always documented everything. And if you went back to the start of my Instagram, you would see that I was shit. Like, I was <laughs> rubbish. You know, yeah. I, I didn't know what I was doing. That is the true reality yeah. of it. When, when you go yeah. back seven years ago on my Instagram, you didn't, I didn't know what I was doing. So that's number one, is understand and accept that you're, just because you're coming into the industry, you, you are going to, be at the bottom okay you are going to be at the bottom and it takes time so i've been in the industry seven years it took me a long time to get here okay very long time to yep. get here um within terms of the psychological mindset now i understand this from a lot of people's perspective in south africa because of i've yeah. done a lot of one-to-ones with people in in south africa yeah. and I never put anyone down, as I always say, but I understand people in South Africa need money more than other people in, in not everyone in the world, <laughs> but more people in yeah. the world, right? Now, I get yeah. this because I've had one-to-one -one conversations with people, and I've said it to them, and they said to me, yeah, that's true. Yeah. But you've got to walk before you run. And this is actually, the psychological part is the hardest thing to actually teach a trader. Yeah. Yeah. Now, if I, told, if I told you this, that the biggest hedge funds, now hopefully a lot of your followers know what hedge funds are in institutions and things like that. The biggest yeah. institutions and hedge funds in the world, they only look to make like 30% max in a year. Yeah, huge. Okay, so if we're, 
if we're looking at 30% max in a year, people elsewhere in the world are trying to make 100% on their trading account in a day. Yeah. So when you put that into reality, it's, it doesn't work. True. It, it doesn't work. You've got to look at the bigger picture, right? So what I do is, is I say to people, break it down. So when you yeah. start to break it down and you start to say to yourself, if I can con consistently make four, or just go with 1% a week to start with. Yeah. Make 1%. Now that's what I risk. So if you risk 0.5% and you go for like a one to two and make 1% in a week, yeah. Just continue, just grow that for a bit at 1%. Mm -hmm. And then risk 1% and go for 2%. If you can make 2% a week, like, yeah. you're a very good, you're like, in the long run, if you went to an investor, it's great trading returns. Now, people, yeah. look, people look at the FTMO, right? You know what FTMO is. Yeah. The, tra the, the, the traded accounts, okay? Now, people yeah. look at FTMO and they say, you've got to make 10% in 30 days. That's ridiculous. Yeah. But, break, but, but break it down. The only reason it's ridiculous is because the people are taking too many trades. Yeah. If you break it down to 2.5% a week, you've got a lot mm -hmm. more better chance at doing it than if you're just trying to smash the 10% in a day or the 10% in the week. Good. Yeah. Too many people are focused on now rather than the bigger picture. Okay. I think I like I like that point where you're saying uh, you gotta walk before you run, like and that's that's like the biggest thing that basically keeps people in the same space and the same level in trading. That we we get to we get into trading because we wanna make it big. I mean, all of us come into trading because we really wanna see our lives changing, we really wanna see, you know, our pockets getting bigger and you know Get, being, being able to afford even better things. But I think the, the fact that we want to attain these things now basically keeps us like segments run about the same area because we come into small accounts and we risk big to make big gains and you find that we keep on blowing accounts time and time again, time and time again. And as a result, we're really not moving, if you know what I'm saying. Like we're just drowning in circles. You'll be finding again, making that 10% per day uh, or even 100% a day. And then the next day, you blow the whole account. Like you just keep on moving 10 steps forward and coming back 11 steps backwards where you, where, where, you, where you started that. So I think that's the biggest thing that I really need us to tackle tonight because uh, as I'm saying, bro, like I'm, I'm going to speak from a South African perspective where I've had a lot of guys coming to me for my course and, every, and obviously having to see how they're thinking and how they basically want to attain um, you know, big figures quicker than actually having to uh, attain consistency and growing the craft of trading and basically look into smashing, take profits. You know, uh, if your stop loss hits, make sure that you don't basically lose the, the whole account, but you lose a certain portion of the account you're willing to lose. I wanted to basically tackle that and actually focus on... on, well, on put it like this, you okay? Know, yeah. I always treat trading like a business. That's the, re that's yeah. the difference. Like treat trading yeah. like a business. So if I was running a business, am I going to do a deal that could potentially <laughs> lose me my whole business? Yeah. Huge. No. That, I'm not going to do really a deal fun, that could potentially lose me my whole business. Yeah. So why would I take a trade that could potentially lose me my whole account? You, it's, it's, all, it's, it's, it's all in the risk. This is where I say, right? Any person can learn technical analysis. Anyone yeah. can learn an entry strategy. The key mm -hmm. of it is the numbers game. And it's the numbers game that I always repeat, 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 repeat. The numbers yeah. game. Mm. Like, that is the true reality of it. Treat it like a business. Understand the numbers game. The numbers game was the 1% every week. Do that every week in a year. That's 52% return in a year. People, like, forget everyone else on Instagram. You don't know whether it's true. You don't know what they're making. You, it, listen, <laughs> the, biggest, the biggest thing that you guys can probably do is unfollow every <laughs> trader on Instagram and focus on your own trading results. That is the biggest thing yeah, you can probably do. Yeah. 
Like, I think, and I think even I'm, me included, if you unfollow me at the end of the day, I want everyone to win. So because I want everyone to win, it would never bother me. If you came back to me in six months and said, dude, I unfollowed everyone, including you, and now I'm winning, fucking hats off, my man. Yeah. <laughs> I, think, I think one of the biggest questions that would come is, um, especially from like an, um, a non-privileged background where you've got people uh, you know, investing little amounts into the markets and obviously looking at that 50% uh, returns per annum, you find that someone invests like $100 to make up $50 per annum. How would you tackle that? Because in the, from that perspective, you'd say, um, you know, $50 per annum, like if I'm focus on the trying skill. to pay my, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, focus I, on I the skill, right? So the reason, you, yeah. the reason you need to focus on the skill is because... Yeah. So David Beckham, he worked on his skill for probably 14 years before he mm -hmm. made it. Yeah. He worked on his skill for probably 14 years. Now, guys, I don't know whether the, that, that's the actual fact, but just think of what you didn't see. Okay. Ronaldo worked on his skill for all those years before he made it. So work on the skill. Just really work on the skill and repeat, repeat repeat and in yeah. the meantime save yeah. capital because at the end of the day what you're saying to me is is a hundred dollars is all they can afford right yeah so making fifty dollars is better to them than losing a hundred true that's very true. so focus on the skill and build yourself over time save money over time like if if I've seen people here like go against being funded by FTMO. There's other funding companies, but if people are against funding, then work your mm -hmm. ass off. Get two jobs. Like do what you need to do. Stop living your life with Gucci t-shirts. Stop that shit <laughs> to be able yeah. to save the money. Mm. Like so Yeah. That's I what think, I that's what I, I, I that's what I say. Yeah, I think uh, you're coming with a very uh, interesting point. Like, and this is just me coming and, uh, and also adding on to what you're saying. Obviously, to most people who are basically like not in a good position to find in big amounts, because I mean, it makes sense if you're making, um, you know, 5% uh, per annum. If you've got like a six figure account, a seven figure account, like, then that makes sense because then you're having that inv investor mindset. But from, from like the, the retail, retail trader's perspective and someone who's saying, I can only afford $100 and I really need to see my life changing. I, I really need to get to that point of being able to afford. I think the biggest thing right now is that you really focus on growing the craft so much that you've got really minimal losses from your predictions and you can basically scale up your risk a little bit not even risking the whole account knowing very well that whatever loss you're going to have is not going to be a loss that's going to take up the whole account because the main is to keep on growing and moving forward and not just to work you know like backwardly like where you keep on blowing accounts and refunding the other day i said a statement and obviously like most people didn't even believe in what i said i said it's very possible that you get to a point where you find a hundred dollars in your life and you never ever find again you know what I'm saying? And people didn't really believe that because, I mean, for someone out there having a $100 account, they see me holding uh, $500 profits or even 5000 or 10000 whatever profits I'm holding. And they come and they say, but how do I get to that level if I'm not trying to blow this account? Like, I really want to risk more and basically make whatever it is you're making from the same account uh, equity and stuff like that. So I really need us to talk about that as well. So what's it like in terms, so it's, it's tricky because I don't know how people manage their trades. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like I don't know how people manage their trades. Like you got to be strict with your risk management. Just be straight, like straight on the risk management of yeah. stop to break even banking partial profits. Like as soon as you start to do that, you, yeah. you'll be you'll be so much better off so you can risk two percent but move stop to break even bank partial profits you can risk two and a half percent but like yeah. at the end of the day for people that don't have money martin like i always say focus on the craft 
Just True. focus on the craft, work super hard. And it's, and I, I know it's, 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 it's tricky and it's harsh, but there's no other way. True, man. There's no other way. Like, and I think this is really what's lacking in the industry because then, as, as you said when you were starting out, that, uh, you know, most Instagram traders show you the end results and never really show you the process. And, and this is why then everyone comes into trading because they see, like, you know, the finished pie and they want to come and basically have their own pie. But, like, there was a whole process in between making that pie, you know what I'm saying? And this is what people need to understand, that when you get into the field of trading – you are going to get to that level where you're comfortable in life and you're making big figures, but there's a whole process in between. Like you can't, you can't change it's, that. It's like the time. examples I gave you, you know, it's like the examples yeah. I gave you and you can look at so many other examples, not only in, not only with footballers and things like that in businesses, like look how long it took Amazon to get to where it is. But people yeah. forget that part. Like just look at how long it took everything to get into where it is. True. You know, it takes time. Everything takes time. Like school takes time to learn something. Everything takes time. I don't know why pe people don't accept that in trading. It's no different. There is no shortcut. There will never ever be any shortcut. It only comes like you can learn the skill and you can learn the entry technique and the risk management but shit only comes with experience. Yeah. Shit, and I think it comes with experience. Without experience, then there's, there, there, there's nothing. Yeah. And I think the more, the more experience you're gaining as you're growing as a trader, like you kind of get to that point where you're comfortable to risk slightly more than you had been risking, obviously, in the beginning phases. And which is why then we see like uh, pro traders on Instagram risking slightly more than we're able to risk and obviously making more. And we're thinking to ourselves that I want to be that guy. Like I want to make that hundred thousand dollars a day, you know, from whatever accounts I have. For me, have at that time, it's the opposite for me, bro. Bro, for me, it's yeah. the opposite. Bigger the account, <laughs> the smaller the risk because the bigger the return. Yeah, yeah. That, that's very true, bro. For me, it's the opposite. Like the, the number one thing that you do with everything is you limit your risk. Yeah. That's, that's the number you know, one. I read, I read, I read um, a quote today just before this live, and I really thought to myself, this is quite an interesting um, perspective of trading. That person had written on their story is that I really focus on risking less. Like, on whatever trade I go into, I focus on risking less. And whatever gains I make, I don't really look into that. I always look into making sure that whatever amount i'm willing to risk on this trade is very little and this is what people are missing because we, we always have the end result in our heads but we never really think of the negative side of it that forex and trading is just a game of probabilities you know what i'm saying you could come Numbers. in one time and you're predicting that the market is going to go up and it really pushes down and you're not thinking of the implications that could come with you losing a trade and you're just thinking about how much I'm going to make if this, trade, if this trade hits 50 pips, you know what I'm saying? And this is what really kills a lot of traders because we look too much into the good side of things, if I may put it that way, and we never really look too much into what could happen if this trade doesn't really play out. How much am I willing to lose on this trade? And we end up having a cycle of traders who keep on blowing accounts, changing institutions, going to this guy, going to that guy, because they probably feel like what I'm doing is not enough to only find out that the only thing that's lacking in their level of consistency is just the amount of risk that they go into every single trade. Listen, it's, it, 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 what you're saying is so true because the amount of people that eventually understand the numbers game and eventually start to manage their risk and things like that, they come back to me in the DMs and they say, you're right. Like there is so many great traders, the main yeah. thing killing them is the risk. True, That's what it is. And what happens is, is they'll risk 1%, 1%, 1%. They'll have wins. Then they'll decide, right, I'm on a streak. Next trade, I'm going to do 5%. Boom. Lost all their profit. Yeah. 
Forex Philly, I'm definitely not bored in the house, bro. <laughs> the comments in here, bro. <laughs> so good, Charlie. How we doing? It's nice to see some of you here. Alan, what's happening, mate? Yeah, I think I think like in 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 our perspective, like this is really what I'm trying to tackle mostly to our South African guys that like we go into trading and we treat it as gambling because then you know we 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 come in and we keep on funding and we keep on funding and we keep on funding and you find that at the end of the day you're really exhausting your pockets and you're not really going anywhere and if you can really start on sharpening your 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 risk management you can really see yourself moving you know listen i was once the same like i'm I did, and this is, i started the live with this right i was yeah. once these guys did the same thing traded with no stop loss I lost a trade, I upped my lot size. Like I was losing a trade, I would add to a losing position. I only know this because I've been there and I've done it. As yeah. soon as I stopped doing that and I focused on just my risk and everything like that, kaboom. And now I'm here today after growing and saving money and building my account and building my skill and repeat, 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 repeat. I've blown accounts. Like, I'm not here to, I, I never hide anything. I'm just like anybody else. My journey started just like anybody else. I was just early on in the game. And like seven years ago, I started on Instagram. There was not many people on Instagram doing what, like, I, and I never started to teach. I never started to teach. Yeah. I always used to sit back and say to myself, if all these people are so successful traders, why do they teach? And that's why I never took a course. And that's why I always self taught yeah. myself. And... Um, the only reason I do teach is because of the demand came to me. And once I then taught people, it felt good for me. I'm never here. Yeah. Putting a sale. I don't put a sale on my course or anything like that to bring people in. Because for me, it's not about that. For me, it's creating traders for people to actually want to create traders. I do a free yeah. call with every single one of my students before they join. Because I want to make sure that they know what they're getting themselves into. It's not just yeah. about the numbers, you know. It's actually... It's... it's it, it's a, such a long process. And the one thing that I would tell a lot of you, your, your followers to do is before you even open that live account, if you don't want to blow it, make sure you back test. <laughs> like That's back testing true. will build so much confidence, will prove to you what works, prove to you what doesn't work. It will prove to you that you will have losing streaks. It proves to you that you'll have winning streaks, prove to you that you will have break-even streaks. It will prove so much to you. It will show you what markets are for you and what markets aren't for you. There's nothing yeah. better than just backtesting. And people say, but that's long. Yeah, well, if you find it backtesting long, then you're not here for the long run. Like, you can actually go back and backtest. Say you backtest four months' worth of data per night. Yeah. You can backtest nearly, a, like, that's 120 months' worth of data in, a, in, in one month. Like, in yeah. one month. 120 months worth of data work out if work out if your stuff works like I, I read a comment that said to me to stop swearing because you're a pastor bro so i just stopped myself <laughs> bro bro i'm 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 cool i'm relaxed bro <laughs> <laughs> so it's it's like I'm work cool, out if you're bro. You're soft, man. don't worry about it <laughs> <laughs> it's like Work, work, like work out if your stuff works before you put it to the real test. Like, you yeah. know. <laughs> and also, work um, out if it works. As, yeah. As we're having this conversation, I'm actually really interested um, to basically understand that. Um, so I know, obviously, you've got to that level of consistency, and you know that point of having to be a consistently profitable trader. So I want to know from your perspective and, uh, you know, from your point of view, uh, the meaning of a consistently profitable trader, like not figure wise, not, um, you know, monetary wise, but obviously from your kind of perspective, what defines um, a consistent profitable trader from your own perspective? That's all I need to know. Well, it, it's over a period of time. Like I've had, I've had very small winning months, but then I have large winning months, you know, and it's just yeah. about over the long period of time that you're profitable is to be honest, that, that question isn't, it, it, it's more, de it's more defined 
like there is no yeah. way for me to define it. It's more that more so the sort of like definition of it because it is consistent. Mm -hmm. Now, consistent doesn't mean that you win every day. Consistent doesn't yeah. mean that you win every week. Consistent means that over a long period of time that you that you're building percentage, like that you're growing over a period of time. That's what it all is about. Whereas people think to be consistent, you need to win every trade. You need to win every week. People will say that I'm wrong, but this is my, that's my perspective. You know, you don't need to win every day. You don't need to win every week. And that is the true reality of it. If you want to win every day, then you're going to be trading. Like that's when it starts to go downhill. Sure. That's, that's, that's quite something. Eh? I think, uh, one of the biggest things that I've actually learned as well on my journey of trading is that like every trader eventually has to experience that loss. You know what I'm saying? Like you're not going to be a hundred percent, right? Like you are going to get to that point in phase where you're just losing trades. You know what I'm saying? Like sometimes you're just having a bad week, um, but that bad Oof. week must not, you know what I'm saying? Like you get to that point where you're just like, taking stop losses every single day in that week and you're just trying and everything is just going south you know what i'm saying but like the biggest thing is to make sure that like your losses don't amount to you know the number of wins you have i mean um, in my perspective if you're consistently profitable you're able to actually um experience losses but still come out a winner you know what i'm saying 100 like and i'm just going to quickly i want to just address that comment there mila uh mila not yeah. to put you down but pips to me mean nothing, okay? Because of, there's no reason to count pips. It's all about the percentage. Because of when you think about it, what's the difference between risking 20 pips to gain 40 and risking 100 pips to gain 200? No difference at all. They're both, yeah. if you risk 1% on both, they're both a one to two risk to reward. And you, so it's, it's both the exact same thing. So personally, yeah. pips for me, like counting the pips, it's not pips. It's not money. It's all in the percentage. So that's just um, that's just my perspective of that. Not to put it down, but that's just my view. Something from from that comment that um, you don't really have to look at how many pips you're losing. Just look at how much you're losing in the account, like the percentage wise. Like, are you losing one percent or two percent, regardless of the amount of pips you're actually like kind of risking? I think that's what I'm picking up from that comment. And that's, that's it, like 100%, because if it's the same thing, you know, like a, a 20 pips stop loss to gain 40 pips is the same as risking 30 pips to gain 60 pips. It's the same as risking 100 pips to gain 200 pips. So many different that's traders. Very true, bro. <laughs> and like, this is, this is what I like to see people now sinking in, that it is purely and simply just a numbers game. It, it is like, that's the true reality of it. And I've got so much, I, I try and put out as much content as possible to define how much it is. And that's where I, I, I put out there for everyone to always keep their risk the same. Because if, for example, if I risk 1% and I, w I win a one to two risk to reward, then on the next trade, I, w I, I risk 2% and I lose. I'm then back at zero rather than risking the 1% and still being up 1%. You've got to keep yeah. it consistent over and over again to, to, to be able to obviously build a consistency if it's just that's, otherwise you'll never get off the ground you'll never get off bro. the ground i'm also learning bro like i think i think i never really got time to look at it from that perspective even though like whenever i come into whatever trade i come into i basically calculate how much i'm ready to lose on that on that on that trade i never really looked at it from that percentage perspective of actually saying um you know, I'm not losing 30 pips. I'm actually losing 1%. So, you know, 20 pips is the same as 100 pips. It, the percentage is still the same. I think that's quite a perspective. And that's what I'm really learning from this slide, bro. 100%. Like, and that's why I never talk pips. Like, that's just my way of looking at things. <laughs> when you, like, if a, trader tells you, bro. if a trader tells you they caught 100 pips, terrific. But they could have been risking 200. Yeah. <laughs> that could also be like 1% of their trading account. You know what I'm saying? Like if they caught 200 pips, that 200 pips could have easily been 100, like a, a, a percentage of their account. So, I mean, I'm, I'm really like changing my perspective right now. And Mila, Mila, listen, I thank you. Like this has made the live worth it because I impacted one person. 
I'm never here to impact everyone. People won't even, what people, some people will hate me from this life. Some people will like me, but the fact I've impacted one person, that's all good for me. Let me just take a quick look at these guys. Yeah, let's have a look at Since the you comments. you guys are technically uh, traders, do you take into consideration news events and why? I take into consideration news events because of around news, I try and minimize my risk. That's the only reason I look at news. And again, everything goes back to the risk. Okay, everything goes back to risk. I look at news to minimize my risk. If there's a high impact news event and I'm in a trade and I can move my stop loss to break even, I will because I don't want to be whipped out the market for 1% loss purely and simply on the back of news. <laughs> I would rather be taken out for break. Like this is one of my sayings, right? And the people have started to like this one. Break even yeah. is a win. Break even's a win. Yeah. The market didn't beat you. The market, the market didn't take your loss. So a break even is a win in my eyes. That's the way I see it. You know, and that's Dude, that's something that, that I've that, said in that's my not, that's something I've said in a recent that's YouTube that's video that, that blew up in the comments that literally break even's a win. Like when you start to look at it like that, just get your stop loss to break even when you can. And if you get stopped out of break even, you beat the market. The market didn't beat you. Phew. Bro, that is very deep, bro. That's really deep, man. So I'm, I'm, I'm also like very interested in how you got to that level of like, you know, that trader's mindset. Like, when was the, when was that aha moment that you had, like, in your whole trading career? Like, you know, obviously you started out. Uh, no, you had no one to teach you. Um, you were just alone in your own corner, and you know, you basically got to that level where you just had a lot of trial and errors. And you got to that point where you're like, you know what, like, I'm at that point where I'm consistent. Like, when was that and what did it take for you to actually get there? Like, what made you realize? It was over time. Like, like, there was never that eureka point. moment. Like, and to be honest with you, no, you don't really just have that eureka moment, you know, because of, because of it's like what I say to you, it's over a period of time. So once I realized that over a period of time, that I had made yeah. a great, that I'd made great percentage. It was then like, right, I've done this once. Now let's do this again. Now let's do this again over a period of time. It's never just <laughs> you have that one eureka moment. The only people that have that one eureka moment are the people that yeah. flip their account. They feel the eureka, and then they next day they blow it, and they're like, mm, back to square one. My strategy doesn't work. That's the way that yeah. it goes. It's like that you. For me, there was no eureka moment. It was at the end of the period of time, over the period of probably a year, I looked back and I thought, right, I've been consistently profitable. Now we're good to go. Let's repeat, 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 repeat. Shoot. That's, that's that, it. That's, yeah. So, so for me, that's, yeah, there's no eureka. You know, there's no like, bang, yeah. I'm a great trader or bang, I'm a consistent trader. It's just yeah. over a period of time. When I you think, see the consistency also, play out. Yeah. It, it all goes back to my favorite statement that I, I tell every single one that's on my lives every single time that you can't cheat the element of time in this in this industry. Like you have to Wait, you can. Business, Wait, you bro. can. You can. Yeah. Back test. You, you know what I'm saying? Like even that back testing is you putting in the work and the hours to basically understand. Like you really need to get to that point where you sacrifice time for you to actually get to that consistent level. And this is what people don't do. Like you get people aspiring to be great, like as great as yourself, because you're honestly putting out the work out there and they're looking at your work and they're saying, you know what, like I really need to get to this level of consistently getting directional bias right. Like, and they don't really put in the time. They just sit around and they just wait for that time where they like, I'm not consistent. I don't even know how it happened. I just got to this point where, you know, that Instagram trader mindset, like, because most people don't really put in the process, like, behind you getting to that point of actually being consistently profitable on your trading. And this is why I'm saying you really can't cheat the element of time because somewhere in between the career, you really have to put in the time to basically get to that point where you're consistent with your, with your bias and analysis. Like the, the one thing I'll say to a lot of people here, right, is, is take a deep look at yourself and say to yourself this, do you have a trading plan? Right? Yeah. Now, I do a lot of one-to-ones, okay? And I'm not, again, I, I, I repeat this all the time because I never want to hear anyone's feel, hurt anyone's feelings. But if you don't have a trading plan, 
what are you doing in the market? Like, yeah. what are you doing in the market if you don't have a trading plan? Now, a trading plan should consist of an analysis plan. It should consist of an entry plan. It should consist of a take profit plan where you target your <laughs> risk management plan, how much you risk, your risk percentage, um, your stop loss placement should be the same every time. The reason why your stop loss placement should be the same every time is because if you have a different stop loss every time, if you get yeah. stopped out, you're going to say to yourself, I should have had it higher. I should have had it higher. But if you mm. back test your stop loss every time, whether it be 20 pips above the candle or whether it be above the most recent high, if you do that every time and you know you're profitable, then do it every time. If you don't do it every time, then you're just going to blame yourself and say, I had my stop loss too close. But if you don't, yeah. if, sorry, if you do have the same every time, you've got nobody to blame. The biggest killer is having your is, is by blaming yourself. So that's one one tip for you there is to back test your, your stop loss placement. The next thing in your risk management plan should be how you manage your trades. And yeah. then after a risk management plan, you need a daily routine of how you're going to execute your plan. What time do you wake up? What time do you check the charts in the morning? Are you a full time trader? If so, great, then you've got all the time in the world. If not, does it does your strategy work around your job? If your strategy doesn't work around your job, you need to adapt yourself to a strategy that does work around your job. And yeah. I get paid. Like, I, I do one-to-one -one calls to tell people this, but I hope you guys are writing this down and you build yourself a trading plan. Once you've built your trading plan, you then backtest your trading plan and then you prove to you that it works over a period of time. Don't just backtest one week and say to yourself, this doesn't work. Don't just backtest one week and say it doesn't work. Like backtest a year. Back test two years worth of data and see whether over the long run it worked. Um, I got a question here of how do you back test and you can use so many different things. I did a live, we, I've just started something new with my community, which is yeah. live interactive back testing where we all jump on Zoom and I, one member or student comes forward and they take the session um, with my Jeez. guidance. And um, yeah, so I use the Soft4x software on MT4 for that. You can do it on TradingView. Yeah. Uh, there's Forex Tester. Like if you, and if you and listen, guys, if you don't have the money to pay for TradingView Pro, just create ten emails and just get the free trial for ten months. Like each month, when you need the free trial, just get the free trial. Do what you got to do to be able to get yourself that. Truth. You know, like you can do it. There's, there's no excuses as to why you can't do something. Instead of Bro. instead of blowing your one hundred dollar account, take out your hundred dollars, buy the software for the forex tester, and then back test for a year and do whatever else you got to do. You know, there's no excuses because you want the money now. Just focus on the long run all the time. I'm just going to read some comments. I think, I think it goes back to what you said when we, when we started the live that. Um, you really need to take it as a business and really put in every single tools and resources you have to basically grow this craft because you can't really expect to make it big like in the space of a month or two. You really can't. And so this, this is the biggest problem that we have. And I was basically addressing this on my live the other day and I was saying that in SA we do have great traders who've done great things. Um, but in my perspective, I feel like we're not at that consistent level, even with the guys who've actually been at the forefront, because then you find that someone comes into the markets and they become like the biggest thing for a year. And after that, they basically just fade away. They just, you know, they just disappear because they never really invested in the consistency. They got to that point by mistake. And this wasn't by means of, you know, working towards being that great person that they actually are in the game. You, you know, looking at that Instagram perspective of things like, and as a result, like you find that a lot of people are just not really making it in the game after a couple of years. So someone's going to come in uh, this year, make it big, buy themselves a car, you know, live that uh, trader's lifestyle, wearing branded clothes, you know, popping bottles and stuff. But after a year, they just back at square one where they need to start afresh and start over. And I think the main reason behind this is because uh, we don't really put in so much attention and so much focus on the craft and really focusing on the the figures that we're making instead of actually growing in the game and in the skill 
why do you need to why do you be like but for me yeah this is like now maybe i'm different i i i, I trade for a living i don't trade for watches like uh, <laughs> that's that's not really what i do you know like yeah. my phone tells me the time it's like i i don't really trade for that sort of stuff you can go on my personal instagram and you'll see i don't trade for that stuff i like a holiday yeah but that yeah. sort of stuff's not for me and that's maybe why i made it a little bit quicker than some other people yeah. because of I'm 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 not here just for that that quick fancy stuff you know mm -hmm. like why would you need to buy a car if you can't even buy yourself a house or do you see what I mean it's like just yeah. sort of put that into perspective you know like I'm not I'm just not a branded person or I'm just not a person that does that I would rather just spend the money on like my trading setup or something like that that i use yeah. every day rather than like it's just my way of seeing things you know it's just my way of thing, seeing things like my phone would tell me the time the same way a rolex would tell me the time so it's like just put that aside it's still the same time it's still the same time yeah. my phone and the rolex were still tell me the same time you know so it's like for now just put that aside just just put that aside and just it, it all comes back to the skill it all really does come back to the skill and to be honest with you when i first mm -hmm. started trading i did trade for the same thing <laughs> i traded for the same thing because i yeah. wanted i wanted the good stuff like i wanted the good stuff now but then it was like it just weren't working so i just thought can you show us his studio I don't really have a studio, like that's the office. And then that's the setup. I don't really have a studio. This yeah. is all you need. That's that's very true, man. Looks, man, looks, looks very beautiful, bro. So bro, yeah. I think I think that I truly I truly appreciate the mindset because I feel like a lot of people need to be inspired by the mindset more than the results you know what i'm saying like don't look at how much someone is making just look at the, the amount of work they put in to basically be where they are and yeah that's but, what but martin they they, they can't people. see that like yeah where do you go and look at jeff bezos's before to see where he got to now there's a lot of things that you can't see like where you know there's a lot of things that you can't see and it's, it's like people have just got to take your word for it. And that's why, and I'm not, I, I'm not a salesman, you know, and I'm not, I don't sell to people, but it's like, that's why my community do really well because of, you can't teach this stuff. You can only show it to them. So my community see me only taking one, two, maximum three trades a week to build yeah. my two and a half to 3% or maybe 5% in a very good week. That's what they see me build. And because they see it play out over and over, and yeah, I may make 5% one week, lose 1% the next week, then make 3% the next week, but yeah, I finished the month with 8% profit. Yeah. That's what it's all about. It's, it's a hard thing to teach. It's only able to, you're only able to sort of show it, you know. Um, but this is another thing, less is more. Like less trades equals more results. People will say how? Well, it's because you've got less chance of giving back your profit to the market. <laughs> like if you Bro, take, if, yeah, if you take, if you take one trade that's a break even, you take another trade that wins you 3%, you then take another trade that loses you 1% and you finish the week with 2% profit, do that every week and you bank 8% in a month. You're a very good trader. Don't let anybody tell you different. Whether you, it's 8% on 10 pound or 8% on a thousand pound or a million pound, you're a very, very, very good trader. And guys, That's I appreciate it. all the love in the building. Ricky G, bro, how you doing? Yeah, but bro, thank you so much, man, for the for the knowledge. I think what I'm taking from this live is that if you're really not treating your your, your trading career as a business, there's very minimal chances of you making it. 100%. And you really you really need to take it as you know the numbers. One game. last tip for really? everybody, and I'm gonna bring a YouTube. I, I said it a while ago, and I I don't know why. It's actually on my whiteboard over there that I need to release this video, but I'm gonna release it about how to build a journal because the sooner you start to journal, that's where it then becomes, you know, that's where it then happens. I had a student 
and I won't mention his name, but he's been with us quite a while. And he was... He, he, he never got off the break-even stage because he was always focused on the money. As soon as he started his journal and I said to him, just focus on the percentage, in like the first month, I think he did like 12%. But because of the 12% was only on like a £500 account, it didn't feel like much. Yeah. You know, what, what's £60 on a £500 account? It's nothing. <laughs> but yet when you look at 12%, it's crazy. Like, that's great, great returns. Yeah. I mean, if you, if you take that 500 pounds to 5 million pounds, then that makes sense. <laughs> and eventually, if, with the years, if, I mean, if, you, if you're really building consistently and, you know, you're, you're obviously building their account. I mean, a couple of years down the line, you will have a big account because obviously the account will be on the positive scale and not on the negative. 100%. And that's why I'm going to release the video because the sooner people start to journal and just like if there was a way that you could tap into MT4 and just remove the balance and just make it percentage, that would be great. Like, <laughs> sorry, my battery. Yeah. Um, but if there was a way to do that, okay. it would be great. So, but yeah, brother, I really appreciate you coming on here. Just quickly, guys, any questions that you guys got, just fire away at me. I'll do a quick four-minute question Q&A if you guys have got yeah. any questions. And then uh, nine o'clock, this is it. This is the life, bro. I'm still in, still here, not in, um, not, not at dinner or I anything think, like think, that, but it's all good. Let's have a look at the question. I how do I know if, how do I know if a company, I can't open it up though, bro. Uh, let me let me open it up. Uh, he says, how do I know if the company is legit? I've lost my significant amount of money when they lied to when they lied me to teach, but wanted me. I, I don't know, bro, like the English is also not so well. But I think the question basically says, how do they know whether the trading institution is legit or not? Because they've basically paid a whole lot of amounts to different institutions with promises of them making it even quicker. The, the best way is their students. Like the best, that's the best way really, like is their students. Because of, at the end of the day, somebody may be a great trader, but it's whether they can teach to be a great trader. When I True. first taught, when I first taught, I taught people for free because yeah. I didn't know if I could teach. I literally True. taught for free because I didn't know if I could teach. Like that's the yeah. truth because I couldn't charge somebody. Um, handling risk with crypto, that's a bit more in detail, but I don't day trade, trade crypto, so I'll move on. Yeah, so I think those are like the... Uh, do you guys look at trading sessions? I take into account, I'll just quickly fire back. I do take into account trading sessions. Uh, I don't really enter before I go to bed in the Asian session. Do I believe in robots? Not really, because if it worked, then everyone would use them. Uh, such informative live my pleasure how do you select charts for trading week do you select randomly no i select markets which are trending not markets that are ranging um that's my filtering process um who is marco uh, all i've been seeing is marco 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 um yeah I, I don't know who marco is bro but i've also been seeing the comments um but yeah man i i, I don't know who that is I think they want you to save this live, bro. Yeah, I, I will save the live. It will be on my timeline so you guys can go check it out later. But shout out, James. Thank you so much for the hour that you just borrowed me from your busy schedule, bro. I truly appreciate it, man. It's not a problem. It's not a problem at all. Yeah, so guys, please go follow my brother, James. Uh, you know, if you're from SA and you really want to get, like, proper content on chart work, just go follow guys, him right now. Literally, go follow like, him, bro. I don't want nothing from you. Head over to the YouTube, watch the content. There's literally like so much content that I'm putting out this year. Um, and the only reason why is because of I always strive to be somebody that I wished I had when I was, when I started. That was, that was why I yeah. do what I do. But guys, this is, I wish you all the best. Time. Remember the keys of the numbers game. And I look forward to speaking to you soon. Um, take care. Thank you so much, James. Martin, man. keep well, speak to you soon. Thanks for having me. Been a real pleasure. Thanks, bye bye. Thanks, bro. Cheers. So, yeah, guys, thank you so much for joining on my live. I will save the live video on my timeline, and I'm trying to get like more people coming onto these lives. 
um, scheduling a live with one of the great traders in the world. So you guys must stay tuned. You guys must stay tuned. You know, so thank you so much, guys. I'm also out. The video will be on my timeline if you need it. So bless up, guys. Bless up. Bless up, guys. Yeah.